Hi, it's time for May Favorites. Um, this is May 30th today that I'm filming this and I probably won't get this actually uploaded for a bit. So by the time you see this, it's probably like the first or second of June, but it is actually May. It's almost over as of tomorrow. And I have quite a few um, favorites, things I've just been loving, a couple things I discovered and I'm excited to show. So stay tuned to see what's new and what's exciting for May. Okay, as many of you know, we went to Hilton Head just a couple weeks ago, and then directly right after that, I was at my parents' house for a while, and before Hilton Head, I was at my parents' house just kind of getting the family home reorganized and so forth in order to sell it because my parents are moving to an assisted living kind of a place, and so I've been very busy traveling back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and so a lot of this has to do with, well, some of this has to do with that, but a lot of it has to do with my quick getaway to Hilton Head, so let me just show you some of the things that I found that I'm loving that worked really well on the beach. First off, I've talked about this hat before and I cannot even tell you how much I still love it. It is a Panama hat and it, they have them in either the black um, band or a navy band and I chose black and it is packable, foldable, smushable and comes out of your suitcase. Kind of sometimes looking a little worse for wear but then you put it on your head and it looks just fine. I'm telling you, this thing has been through everything with me. This actually was on my head when I had to jump off of a boat in Tahiti. It got soaked. I didn't think I was going to go under, but I did. <laughs> so the whole hat was completely soaked. And while it was still wet and hadn't dried yet, I had to kind of like smash it into my suitcase because I took a carry-on only to Tahiti. I have a video about that and how I got a lot of stuff crammed in my one carry-on bag. But yes, so it had no room whatsoever. It was smashed in there on the long trip back from Tahiti. I got it home. I thought, okay, I have to throw this thing away. Bummer. I loved this hat. And it's been, that was years ago, like two years ago. I think that was in 2019. So anyway, yeah. And look at it. It's still perfectly fine. And I got it out of my cabinet, you know, to my, what do you call that? Closet. <laughs> <laughs> to bring it with me to Hilton Head and it looked awful. I'm like, oh boy, this is not gonna work. It just looked kind of bumpy and weird and somehow this was kind of going wobbity wobbity. But I just kind of stood there and sort of did this and I was absolutely positively amazed. It just boop, goes right back on and you can flip this up. You can kind of flip it down. You can do whatever you want. It's comfortable. It's just, it stays on your head if you're like on a boat. That's one good thing too. Uh, well, depending on how you know big your head is, but it's a size 56. I believe it's a one size fits all kind of a deal, but love this hat. I wear this in the gardening. I wear this when I'm outside just walking around doing stuff. I wear this, you know, whenever I'm sitting outside um, during like a dinner and I know that I'll be outside and it'll be sunny before the sun sets, I'll bring this hat. Love it. It's almost undestroyable. So highly recommend that hat. Okay, this. I wanted just a little kind of a throw over, pool cover up kind of thing, but I wanted it sleeveless. I wanted to be able to like walk the beach and not be in my swimsuit walking the beach. I wanted to throw this on, um, you know, I don't know. I'm not one that's real comfortable parading around in my swimsuit. Never have been, no matter, you know, what age or whatever. But I found this dress. It's in the, uh, it's the J. Jill Wherever collection, which means that things kind of mix and match and you can put pieces together and whatever. And the fabric is very easy care. And it's just, I love it because it's thick enough and it's such a good fabric that it didn't, it doesn't cling, it doesn't wrinkle. You get it right out of your suitcase and it, and it feels absolutely wonderful and looks good too, but it's not like slick in any way. It just feels cottony. It's 95% rayon and 5% lycra spandex. And somehow it just comes together in this perfect fabric. Let's see if I can get a close up of the fabric here. And it's in black and it's just a sleeveless little dress. I got mine in petite, I believe. Maybe I didn't, I thought I did. Just, oh yes, medium petite, yeah. I got mine in petite and it comes just right above my knee and I'm 5'5", five five, so keep that in mind. You might wanna go petite too if you're around the 5'5 five five area if you want it just to be like right above your knee. I didn't want it to be over my knee. And one of the best parts too is that it has pockets. Just, you know, you can't really tell they're there. They're not bulky. They don't make any kind of a, a blob here like some do on the hip, not at all, but just a little slip pocket. 
for your room key or whatever when you're running up to go to the room for something. I don't know, this was so handy. You can dress it up. Of course, I used it as a cover up, but it can also be washed in the hotel sink and dried and it still looks great. And then you can put a belt on it or you can just put a long necklace or a scarf or you know, wear your cute little flats. You can pop on your hat with it. And you, I mean, you can go to dinner, so. I love it. I love it. Love it. There is one other color in this. It's kind of a greenish, um, very pretty teal kind of a tone with some flower accent on the bottom. So like, I'll link all this stuff below so you'll be able to check it out easily, but highly recommend that. Sorry. I hit. No. I think it was my last video, not the cooking one, but before that, but I wore this new top. Now this is a linen top that I wore just the other day and I didn't want to throw it in the uh, dry cleaning <laughs> because I knew I'd be showing it. So it's a linen top and it's by Bowden. And I think it is just so cute. I love this pattern. I love anything with uh, like navies and greens and yellows. To me, these are the perfect color combinations. Oh, and it's got that little pink in there. I just thought it was so cute. This comes in other solids and other prints too. So take a look at the options. Um, so, so cute. It's a three quarter little mini-ish bell, sort of a sleeve. It's not really like belled, you know what I mean? It's just kind of a three quarter sleeve. Perfect. Love it. And it's just, I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. It just adds a pop. You can wear it with, you know, like I wore it with a white skirt. You can wear it with navy. It's cute with jeans, whatever. I love it. I just love that pattern so much. And it's linen and it will last a long, long time because it's from Bowdoin and they have amazing things. So that is another highly recommended idea for all of you. Okay, summer generally means that occasionally I'll be wearing something that I don't want bra straps showing and I wanna wear something strapless. And strapless bras are absolutely no fun at all, for me anyway. Um, maybe you found wonderful things for you, but me, I, uh, hmm, I'm just kind of a little bit endowed there and it's just everything hurts. It just gets heavy and you know, to hold everything up and uh, you know, it's, no. So anyway, I, <laughs> this is a little, little crazy, huh? Alrighty then, sorry mom. Um, I got a black one of these to wear under this um, off the shoulder top that I have. And I loved it so much that I went and I got the, um, what the, this was called clay, I think. Clay, yeah, this color is clay, which I think is perfect for me, skin toned. It's just a little bandeau. It's just a little bandeau by Skims. I love it. I like mine to be not so tight, but to get over everything and to cover everything. And it's, <laughs> just pull it right up and it stays and it's comfortable and you feel supported enough and I can't say enough about it. So anytime you're worried about straps, always kind of having to pull them in or whatever, or you're wearing something that's over the shoulders, you know, whatever, below the shoulders, you know what I mean? Um, it works great and I do recommend that one because it's comfortable. You're not in pain the whole time, which is, you know, kind of a pleasant thing when you're not in pain the whole time. <laughs> okay. Summer and vacation and stuff usually for me means a lower amount of makeup look. You know, I don't really want like thick something or, you know, so I'm really cutting back on things like eyeliner. And I thought I would try this. I wanted to try this a long time ago, never did. But it's the It Tight Line. It's the mascara, that, this is exactly what I've been kind of looking for. It's the mascara that's really tiny wand and it gets way up in there, like right up against your um, lash line where a tight line would go. And see how thin this is? It's like a, it's like a stick. It's an itty bitty, and you get really in there, and you kind of just wiggle back and forth, and it presses a little bit of the pigment, you know, on your actual lid in there. But it gets those lashes that are way back there that your big, fat, fluffy, you know, mascara wand can't really get. Um, you'll be amazed when you really look closely how it doesn't. Your regular mascara wand usually doesn't get quite, quite in there. And this, you go press it basically against your where your lashes come out, you know, your lash line, and kind of wiggle a little bit, and then up press and wiggle a little bit up a little bit of the black stays there and then just that alone you can then put mascara on after that but just that alone makes it look like you have a nicely thick bunch of lashes because you've got those little bits that you know right there at the base that are now darker and thicker and it's just kind of amazing really how this works and I've been wearing this a lot just a quick like up, up you know for a quick mascara it just looks natural and you know, I, I don't look overdone when I'm just gonna be running to the garden store or whatever, but I just wanted a little bit of something to define my eyes. So, It Cosmetics Tight Line, love it. And it's interesting, because it looks like this would be the wand and this would be the stuff, but it's the other way around. I First I opened it like this, and I'm like, oh. So yeah, <laughs> 
the wand is the bigger side. But see, it's just itty bitty. And it works perfectly for that part of your eyelashes. So there's that. Now, another thing that I have learned over the years is that my lips sunburn. Everything, if I'm not careful, sunburns on me. So I have to be careful. And I've been kind of trying to find a lip balm that works in the sun, gives me some sun protection, doesn't feel like I'm wearing lipstick or it feels, doesn't feel gloppy or smell weird right under my nose. So I have been really enjoying this and it's the um, Sunscreen SPF by Sugar. This one is just the plain, you know, clear. Mm. Feels so good. Very moisturizing. It is a sunscreen of SPF 15. And then this one is a little bit, has a little bit of a color to it. It's honey. Very little color, but let me see if I can show you. See, there's a little bit of color there to it. Good stuff. And your lips are protected from the sun, a little bit more than they would be normally, and it's good stuff. So, very moisturizing, very good, lasts a long time. Really love it. Okay, there is a show on TV that my husband discovered and he asked me, he showed me the little, you know, trailer to say, does this interest you? Do we want to watch this? And I said, heck yeah, let's try it. So I have been loving it. He and I have been watching this together like crazy. It's perfect for the two of us because it, there's some like renovation, DIY, home fixing stuff involved in it and which requires some interesting engineering. I'll explain why in a minute, which very much interests him. And then it also incorporates some design and just some entertaining and those kind of things, um, which very much interests me. So the whole idea of it just was great for the two of us. And we've been watching and watching and watching it. There are quite a few seasons and we're about halfway through, I guess right now, but um, we're enjoying it so much. And it's called Escape to the Chateau. And it is on the Peacock Network, which I didn't even know there was such a thing, but there is. And apparently it comes with one of the little packages we have. So if you look, cause we had to really look um, and see if you have the Peacock Network, look for Escape to the Chateau. <coughs> Excuse me, I think a fluffy just, I inhaled a fluffy. Um, so basically it's Dick and Angela Strawbridge. They um, are a married couple from Great Britain, I think the London area, and they move to a, an old chateau in France that they get for something like 250,000 pounds. This amazing five-story chateau in France on a lake, I mean, the moat, kind of, oh my gosh, unbelievable. It's falling down, it's in ruins, it's a mess, but they move in there with a little boy and a baby girl and her parents, her parents are there to help too. And they clear things out and they have a walled garden and um, just, they even put in an elevator in one of the turrets. I mean, honestly, it's absolutely fascinating. And it's interesting, the different design choices that she does. And then they have weddings there. They, uh, you know, they host weddings there and that's what they were trying to make it into this business. And it's been working really well for them. And it's just fascinating. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I highly recommend you watch that because I think you'll like it too. And now for my giveaway this month. It seems, you know, it's, it's just a little thing, but it means a lot in that it's just so important and I've really been enjoying it and I wanted to share it. But since it's kind of little, I'm going to give three of them. So three, there will be three winners, um, which is going to be kind of fun because I, I would love to give all my stuff to all of you. But yeah, anyway, it is a little pill case thing from Sephora. They call it a supplement, I think a supplement case. But it's this tiny little thing. I have it in my purse with me all the time. If you're ever needing supplements that you just sort of have to have with you, I have one I have to take at five o'clock in the afternoon. And my I have a watch alarm set for it. And invariably, I'm somewhere not near my pills at that point. So I always make sure I have those with me. <laughs> and then I put in for all my travels, I put in um, other things like allergy pills and stuff. But it opens up like this, okay? And you have four compartments that just kind of so they pop open like this. You've got a larger one here, this little half size one there, and these two smaller ones. For anything that you need when you travel, if you need like some sleep aid, or like I say, some um, allergy pills, or a supplement, or vitamins, whatever, this is just an extra thing, and it's so compact and small and cute and useful. I absolutely adore it, so it's for those little extras. 
So I have three of these to give to three of you. So as usual, the information is down below on how to um, enter the, comp the, the giveaway. So click here where it says to enter the giveaway, click here, click on that link, just fill out the little bits of information and you will be entered. And one week from today, I'll be drawing the winner. You will be notified via email. Winner is drawn randomly. I have nothing to do with it. It happens through Rafflecopter and I wish you all luck. I've had two different people have won twice on my giveaways, so, but this time there are three winners, so you have a much better chance. Anyway, check it out. It's great. I love it. Good stuff. So very happy to share that with you. Thank you guys so, so much. Um, and thank you. Oh, I have a big thank you here. Thank you for sticking with me during all this crazy stuff. I'm rarely home anymore. I'm just, you know, I'm traveling. I'm doing stuff with my parents. I'm, I'm doing all sorts of things. And it's just been a little bit trickier to get things done for uh, my channel and stuff the way I normally would. And it's breaking my heart because I really do want to put more out here. And I am all the time thinking, oh, I want to film that. Oh, I want to, you know, but then I don't have, I don't have a chance, you know, because I'll be going somewhere or on the road or moving my parents in, which happens in a few days. The actual move-in day happens in a few days. So my sister's flying in from San Diego and we're going there with the truck and it's all going to be happening this coming weekend. So it's, it'll be nuts, but I'm going to keep trying to get things out there as much as I possibly can because this is my fun. I enjoy doing this and so I don't want to give it up. Love you guys so much. Thanks so much again. Bye.